Welcome back. I thought I'd have a little dig around in the cupboard and I found my old combat survival tin from BCB. This is from the late 80s, early 90s. It's quite an old survival tin. Not sure why it's called a combat survival tin, but the contents are there printed on the front. So just open up, have a look. Maybe we'll get some ideas for a survival tin. You do get quite a good instruction leaflet with this and it's not just basic stuff. It goes into quite a bit of detail things like how to get water, tips on starting fires and signalling, all things like that. So it is quite nice that they did include that. There's quite a lot of information there and much of it is very useful basic survival stuff. I'm not a survival expert at all. I don't pretend to be. It's just one of those things I picked up years ago and just thought it might be interesting just to have a look. There's your little panel there for signalling. There's the water purification tablets. They're slightly out of date and that's how I'm kind of dating the tin. Probably in the 80s it was made. In case you're wondering, they don't taste nice. Uh, chlorine, basically the water tastes like after you've used them, but it does work. So I think it's always useful to have for repairs or even making a makeshift shelter. Here's a little mini fishing kit with the line and you've also got some weights, hooks and swivels in the other bag have never used this. I've done a little bit of fishing. I have a basic idea of it, um, but there's enough stuff there that it would actually work and it takes up very little space in the kit. This wire saw is very useful and it's quite long. What you do is you can put some twigs through either side and saw through things. So that's something which is really useful to have. Little mini candle that's included. That could be quite useful, and particularly if you're trying to start a fire, save wasting matches wire that's included. It looks kind of brassy in colour but it probably is just coloured that way and we've got the uh, safety pins. Little mini compass as well that's water filled. I did look online and they have changed their kit a bit. That's the fire starter I just show you there. They've kind of incorporated different things in the newer kit but um, I'd personally be more tempted to make something up myself but this will give you some ideas of what you might want to include in a kit. With the water resistant matches, I think I've used a couple of these. They do smell quite strong once you've um, lit them. You can make these yourself. You can either put wax on the top or uh, nail polish. That will also do the job. Just make sure that you cover some of the wood so that way it's got something to light. And they've given you another little pack of matches in there as well. Should be able to guess what this is. Uh, razor blade, a few uses for that. You could chop things up, perhaps food and perhaps for fire starting as well, making some tinder. Here's a little tin opener, quite a useful little gadget. I think you can also open bottles with that as well. Um, just something in case you don't have any tools. Obviously with a kit like this, you don't have a lot of space. But as I said earlier, I would definitely be tempted to do my own thing with this, perhaps add a little LED light or something. They also put this bag in there so you can store water in it. Obviously water would be the second most important thing after the heat and body temperature so that's something which is nice to see and there's a pencil so you can scribble out notes leave messages things like that like I said do think that you might be better off making up your own kit on this you can just get the tins on their own nowadays and just add the bits that you want to it it's not so much a cost thing it maybe it might cost more to make your own tin but you'll be able to put exactly what you want in there that sort of wraps up my quick video on the survival tin. Hopefully it was interesting, give you a few things to think about. And thanks for watching the video and sharing my little trip down memory lane.